morning and welcome to Gridbusters. So I decided to shoot a really short, um, very short videos, just quick updates on the progress of the plant room. Uh, so those of you who don't know, um, this section of our house here with this white door um, is a room that used to house the original oil boiler for the house. Uh, when we purchased the house around 15 or 16 years ago, um, the first thing we did was disconnect all of that. We didn't want to have to buy oil and the, you know, the boiler was absolutely, you know, had absolutely had it. Um, so yeah, we disconnected all that. We got rid of the oil tank um, and we've just been using electric heating in the house since then. Um, but we've had this room and this, this room, we've kind of like used it as a storage room, um, kind of like a garage, <laughs> if you like. So we've kept all the garden equipment in there, the tools. Um, and it's, there's also a staircase that goes up into the attic. So what we've decided to do is convert that room into the plant room for all of the solar equipment. So what I thought I would do is just show you the progress um, of the renovation work each day, just so you can get an idea of what's going on. So let's go and have a look at the plant room and see what's been happening today. Um, so the builder started yesterday. This is something I'm not doing myself. I might help out a little bit with the building work. I feel a little bit burnt out after converting those two rooms in the barn. So I've got the builder doing a lot of the work because it's very heavy work having to drill up the floor and lay concrete and so forth. Okay, so let's go and have a look. So this is, um, this is the, the boiler room, as we used to call it, but it's going to be called the plant room now. There's also a um, a very rickety old staircase that goes up into the attic. Um, we've just got so much space here. We've got an attic, but we don't know what to do with it. So we, we, we don't really use it. Um, but the attic does need to be insulated. But we're going to rip out this staircase as well because it's, you probably can't see it in the video, but it's a very, very steep staircase and you know, it all bends and everything when you walk up it. It's very unsafe. Um, <laughs> I think it's just a homemade staircase made out of scaffolding planks, actually. So we're going to rip all of that out. Um, and we're going to put a new, a new staircase in. And the idea is, is that this door here, um, which is a horrible door, it's just lined with plastic. Um, we're going to put some oak beams in here um, uh, as a frame and then create a new door which opens outwards. And then we can put the staircase in, which is going to end around here and go straight up. And it won't be so steep then because it's a kind of non-regulation staircase. It's incredibly steep. So then we can have a proper normal staircase going upstairs, which would be very good. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so this is the room. Um, we thought these, this floor would come up relatively easy because it looked like it was just bricks uh, laid down on earth, but they were actually cemented down. Um, and it used to get really, really damp in here. Well, it still does. Um, there's no damp proof course or anything like that. So um, the builder started drilling it up yesterday with his um, Milwaukee, Kanga drill there and after around two hours he had just completed this section and I said to him look this is silly why don't I go and hire like a, uh, a heavier um, Kanga drill for you so I went into town and for 90 euros I hired this <laughs> so I hired this uh, this beast here weighed an absolute ton to get it in the back of my car and within two hours he had drilled up the entire floor, well, almost the entire floor. He's just got a tiny bit here to do, which he's gonna do this morning. Um, so yeah, much, much quicker progress. And it just shows if you have the right tool for the job, uh, you, can get, um, you can get things done much, much quicker. Um, you know, less effort, um, less time, and I'm paying this guy by the day, so it makes sense that he's got the right tool so he can get things done uh, kind of like quicker. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the plant room. Uh, we have here a, um, the water tank. Um, we didn't want to disconnect the, our hot water whilst we put the floor in. So um, what we've done is we've, we've we started to remove it from the stand. Um, we've got to actually get rid of those legs, I think. Um, I think it comes apart because the pipes actually go between the, 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 um, the legs there. But it is screwed to the wall and we've just put a, a ratchet strap around it um, just to support it in case the bolts in the wall aren't secure enough. Um, and then once we've got the floor actually all laid with concrete and insulation and a damp proof course, um, I'm going to relocate the hot water cylinder into the corner. So the idea is, 
that we have all of the solar equipment, the inverters, the charge controllers, everything on this wall uh, behind me. Um, so that's going to be the wall where, where all of the electronics are. We're going to relocate the house fuse box um, uh, here as well. There is a small service fuse box here, which is literally just for this room um, and the garage. Um, but we've actually got our main fuse box for the house in our living room, which is kind of crazy. It's just how it was when we moved in and the electricity meter and it all looks really ugly. It's like right in the living room. So we need to contact, once we've got the floor in here and it looks <laughs> a little bit better, we're going to contact the electricity board, EDF, and get them to move all of, you know, to move the electricity meter um, into, and the main house fuse into this room here. And then I'm going to move the fuse box um, from the house into here. It's quite a long way, actually. So we've got to extend all of the cables through the attic and down um, into this room. I'll probably make a separate um, series of videos showing me do, do that. Because uh, I figured that if we've got the fuse, the main house breaker box, fuse box here, um, it's going to make it a lot easier connecting it all into the uh, inverter and the off-grid system. Um, so that's the plan. Now we're going to um, line all the walls in here with plasterboard and insulation as well. Uh, all of this will be dry, like I said, dry lined, uh, damp proof course, um, and also the ceiling putting plasterboard on as well. And we're going to be insulating the attic, but not straight away. So my thought was, even though this room will be plasterboarded and everything, the attic won't be. And, you know, the staircase here, it is open uh, to the attic. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a, um, a wall up here where this beam is. So if I just show you, uh, there we go. So I'll, I'll do a cutaway kind of way of that. So with that beam there, um, what I want to do is have a, uh, a petition wall um, up to that beam and a doorway going in and keeping it separate from this section here, separate from the attic. And that way, this can be kind of like a super insulated room, which is just for the solar equipment and the breaker box and everything. Uh, because it's super important when you're charging batteries that they don't get too cold or too hot. And we might even put um, like a heat pump, um, air source heat pump, uh, air to air uh, heat pump actually in this room so that if it got too hot it could be air conditioning if it got too cold it could be some slight heating not sure we'll monitor that over the first year if need be we can easily put that in there um, but that room will be very very similar to the workshop you know nice painted white walls probably I put a floor flooring system in there um, and then um, that's where all the expensive equipment will be held. We can even put a lock on that door if we need to. Okay, so uh, that's the day one update um, of the workshop. This is uh, of, of the plant room. This was all done yesterday. Um, the builder is due in about 20 minutes time. And what he's gonna be doing today, maybe I'll do a few cutaway shots of that uh, for you. He's gonna be shoveling up all of these stones and putting them in um, a dump truck and we're gonna dump them um, at the end of the garden. We've got kind of an area where we're getting rid of rubble and stuff. So um, I'll show you that. Okay guys, I'll see you tomorrow.